Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us! Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker! <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown! It's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies with lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already! Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Fucking way. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're
or, you know, burn it down and claim the insurance. Long as you're getting a paycheck every week, keep at it. If he tries to pay monthly or asks for credit, then you get out. He tried to pay me with X pills at the start of this. What am I gonna do with a pound of X? Oh, you can't be here. What are you doing here? You're gonna have to meet my boss, pal. Mr. Richards has been worried sick. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> ah. uh. Oh! Uh. Who is this guy? Oh. Ah. <laughs> Who's this jackass? I don't recognize him. Oh. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah, okay? Sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Whoa, whoa, hey! Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. You don't have to go this fast to prove your point. If we hit something at this speed, he's out of control. We're going to break up. We're going to break up. Oh, God, isn't there a speed limit? Enough! Enough! All right, I'll do the shitty movie <laughs> for the shitty money. I'll do anything you want. I'll blow you and just stop! Finally, you come to your senses. I'll take you to the studio. Hey, Milton, what? I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, he should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. Solomon's office. Come on. Look. What a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this hey. story is the best kind of art, a simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. 
So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I appreciate, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. I need a cab as soon as you can. No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Thanks. You saw the show last week, right? Three words. I really don't need this. Where you headed, homie? Alta. Right away, sir. What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits! Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop! Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey! You two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed.
I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does hey, 2.7? How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. <laughs> All right. Oh. Hey, we coming up now, man. Be there in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. They ain't gonna stop with us back here. We gotta get right up behind them. This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. Be there in a second! As long as we can keep with them, we'll pull this off. Patience will be rewarded. Stay with them. Coming up on Polito Bay. We might gain some ground on them. Let's do this. Let's get them. They want to have driven around the whole of southern San Andreas before they stop. Frank's still on them. The dickheads probably want him to stop and take the heat. How you doing, T? We gotta hang in there.
Whoa, hey, stay in the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Fucking Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Oh, oh shit, yeah. sorry! Hey, man, you know how hard it was to try small enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Speak. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man-woman lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South L.S. for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool! Shit! I screwed up! Hey, Frank. Yeah? What'd I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I met you, I was boosting rise and racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, oh, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. Ha <laughs> ha! The only thing to figure out now is which one of you is getting the silver medal, right? The lead horse always burns out before the end. Hey, look. Devin Weston. He ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Uh, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy in you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too... Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh god, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. 
Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. I'm not gonna get a paycheck for one of these licks. I need a cab as soon as possible. Of course. Driver should be with you soon. Thank you. Borough Heights. Okay, buddy, there you go. homie. Alright, you know how to work that face recognition shit already? Well, figure it out. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State License. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Hey! Let's see if we can scan my buddy! Now, where was the son of a bitch? Franklin, we're in position over Howick 
Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan, all right? Chad Mulligan? Roger that. and all they care about is the bottom line. Wrong, suspect! True guys on a rooftop going at it. The lady downstairs in the bikini. Let's see if we can connect the dots. I can... It's a free country. I know my rights. Not Mulligan. It's him! You got him! She's showing it You're a very sick man. Keep telling yourself that. She wanted it. If she wanted it, why are you sneaking around? Punch the creep! That's... I think you need help, man. I ain't the pervert! You are! Swingers! Please hit him! We gotta call the cops! One more word out of you! Come in, Franklin! Suspect's not in the area! I repeat! Suspect not found in the area. All right, all right. He might be a couple of blocks east of here. Roger that. Would you look at that couple? Finally, some normal, adjusted, healthy people in this horrible town. Come in, Franklin. We've got a positive ID on the suspect. I repeat, we have visual on Chad Mulligan. No vehicle in sight. All right, look, cool. We looking for his lockup, dog. all right? Stay on him and look out. Roger that. Get it! 
running away! Hey, where this fucking asshole at? Suspect continues west on Del Perro. Suspect sighted near the Life Invader offices. He's turned into an alley off Del Perro. Where is he? Suspect last seen near parking garage. Suggest ground team clear the building. Pilot boy! Pick us down. I need to see inside the building. Slow and steady. This camera's giving me a little air sickness. I get violent when I'm queasy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll keep her steady. All garage exits clear. Suspect is in the building. I can't see him! Need some help here, Flyboy. Where is he? Uh, you can toggle to thermal vision if you think that would help. Oh! Well, you might have just earned yourself a reprieve. You know, I think I'm developing feelings for you. All right. Oh, this might help. Hey, can y'all still see me? I'm in the middle of the garage, man, right here. I've got you. Hey, you reading other heat signatures on this level? We got a guy. Standing over by a row of cars. Middle of the floor. Well, let's see what the fuck he's doing. Hey, that ain't... Damn. You're the reason these places stink. Stank-ass motherfucker. Man in his car to my right. Who looks like he's on the phone? Fuck. Dude could be calling the feds, homie. Nah, what else you got? Del Perro side of the lot. There's a man by a car. I check him out. Hey, this ain't the ride we have. This dude working on the buck. Near side of the garage. On my left. There's a man in a car. This better be him. This better be the guy. Hey, that's the motherfucker. Thank you, Trevor Phillips. I know you think this car might be worth something. Suspect down! Fine work, ground unit! Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hit no nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. Go easy on the score, kid! Man, it's hard driving with you up there watching me, dawg. I get self-conscious and shit.
Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Oh, there she is. <laughs> You know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go! Got off lucky, homie. of Jackson Skinner. He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch.
damn, that must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. You want to party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. No browsing. It's bye now or bye bye, honey. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. bad about it. Hey, man, I wiped that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon.
Man, you got off luck, homie. So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. What happened to the old bus driver? I really like that guy. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? Who farted? Come on, that's disgusting. Hey, look out! We got no seatbelts back here! Get in, we're running late. Oh man, there's an up and atom burger box under my seat filled with vomit. Jesus, have you been drinking? Did anyone see fame or shame last night? I can't watch that Laszlo anymore. He's like a man in a woman's body or a woman in a man's body. I don't know, he just really weirds me out. Uh -oh. This driver is a fucking lunatic! Well, you're late, late, late. That'll be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't he? Bear hike. Forget about it. Spent thrifts. Blame it on the city! Oh my god! He's got a gun! Just business shit, you know how it is.
Green light? Good to go. Famous! I've been on the news! You... Ah! You socialist! Ow! Pro ah! I don't need the socialized police. Oh! 